back to the channel everybody today it's a quick super quick video i'm going to show you how to enable kids mode a newly released feature by microsoft on microsoft edge basically in a nutshell what kids mode does is it allows you to pick different age ranges and it allows you to limit and kind of tailor content on the web towards that age range limit site access similar to family safety to that age range how to do it simply all you would do is just go up to your profile here you would click that drop down and then you go down and you see browse in kids mode now when you click that you'll see welcome to kids mode and they'll tell you everything about it you can hit learn more to go to their website and you hit get started and this is what i was talking about this is the two age ranges so it lets you do five through eight and nine through 12 years old so five through eight years old will be a simplified browsing experience nine through 12 more advanced interesting kids friendly articles and news um, and they have their own separate uh, privacy and themes. So let's try out five through eight years old. You can see it just went full screen. You can see everything is getting set up now. Downloads is easily accessible. Browsing is just a bounce away is what it says. And if I hit the exit button right here, you can see now it is in kids mode. The kids, they can't really, you know, I have a niece. She is four years old, precious. She, if she sees things at the bottom here, she's going to click them on the taskbar. But on kids mode, it makes it full screen, um, and so that way they can't access it. So you can see different things related to what kids would like, as well as a broken little thumbnail link to Office, Minecraft, PBS Kids, Geog National Geography, <laughs> National Geographic, uh, Microsoft Math, Make Code, and NASA Kids Club, and you can add more uh, things there, or you can just hide it all together. Keep that on there, and then you got up here, it says you have your Microsoft 365 access. Now, one thing that I will wonder is uh, what a kid age five through eight is gonna need uh, these things for. I guess PowerPoint and Word and things like that they might need, but the rest, I don't really know. And then up here it says colors and background. So if you click that, you can pick the background, you can pick the color theme. Let's say you want, I think this is Elsa, um and let it load in and now you see elsa from frozen right here i think this is from frozen 2 i believe don't ask why i know that um so you're gonna you can see that it just kind of tailors it and then when you start your searches let's say you want to search peppa pig uh because i do have a niece that loves peppa pig it brings up bing search it says kids mode in the corner there it shows peppa pig it tailors things to peppa pig it really stricts uh access to other things on there now one thing that i will say is this should not pop up i know it's bing's website but this should not pop up because a five through eight year old might click on this stuff so i'll hit maybe later if you want to go back to searching they may not know to click the url bar up here but if you want to go back to searching as you scroll down you can just click that and start searching again um and then also you got your kids mode here it says exit kids mode window and things like that um so it's it's it works pretty well it seems to be pretty decent if i hit this button here I can search Bing. If I click away, it's gone. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. And then these buttons, a kid will never touch. Um, so to exit out of kids mode, all you would simply do is hit exit kids mode window. And then it's gonna say, hope you had fun in kids mode. Come back again later. And then it will ask you for your the adults pin. So when I type in my pin, you can see that edge transformed and went right back to its normal edge that I would normally look at on my normal adult account. So it's it's a pretty decent feature. It's uh, pretty interesting. I'll test it out on my little uh, eight-year-old nieces and I'll also test it out on my four-year-old and see how they really, or four-year-old niece and see how they interact with it and maybe get some feedback later on. But yeah, that's a quick tutorial on how to uh, look at kids mode on Edge. You do need the Canary Edge or the Dev Channel Edge um, for this. It's not in full release yet, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy, take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.